gold. Mwah. That right stuff minnows down there. Sheesh. Let's go. All right, heading down to Sarasota right now. I goofed on the time. I'm probably like 20 minutes behind what I should be right now. Um, but it is what it is. Can't really change anything now, so I just gotta go out and fish. Uh, probably should have got up at like five. I got up at like 5, 15, 5, 20 instead. Uh, check out the Skyway, getting one over Skyway right now. Pretty nice, as always, going over Skyway. It's always an adventure. But uh, yeah, we still got about 26 minutes to get to our spot, and as you can see, the sun's already coming up. Um, I looked at Sarasota sunrise, and it said 642, so I was like, okay, if I get about 615, it takes me about an hour to get down there, I'll have like, you know, 20 minutes spare. I was wrong, uh, sun's coming up. I wish I was there right now, like right now is the time to launch, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get out there, gonna try and catch some fish, have some fun. Uh, and then we uh, got some hockey to watch tonight. So let's go catch some fish and uh, have a great day on the water. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> baby right stuff minnows let's go Whew. just swimming it that first fish is always the hardest Every fish I've caught has been 22 inches. Gosh. He's around the pole. He's out. Finally. It feels a lot better than 22 inches. Oh, that's definitely bigger than 22 inches. I've been trying so hard to try to I've missed them like three or four times. And finally I got one of these big ones to eat and that one wrapped me around that thing. That's a grown one, baby. Yes, sir. That might make that might make 30, maybe. All right, stuff minnows. Let's go, baby. morning but I'm finally putting something together got a decent redfish got a little tiny snook 
and I have no trout. I haven't really, I haven't really targeted trout yet. I'm trying to upgrade my snook. It'd be nice to get at least a 25 inch snook. I'll be happy with that. But uh, there's definitely more redfish than anything here. Like there are so many redfish, and uh, had to go through a lot of little ones to finally get that one bite. I mean, I've seen some of those big ones, and I missed like four good bites in a row. And you, you can tell the difference between a little redfish bite and a big redfish bite. Like right as you set that hook. And uh, finally, I got one in them. And uh, it stayed it stayed button finally. And it landed it. But going to keep uh, working this mangrove line all the way up, heading north. And uh, see if we can't pull off a snook, a little better snook. And then on the way in, um, see if we can't find a trout. So it's 11 o'clock right now. Got another three hours and uh, probably about three and a half hours to go. So let's see if we can't catch a trout. Um, if not, I'd be happy if I can at least upgrade my snook. I can put it towards championship. So let's uh, see how it goes. Let's go. We got a trout. Like, hey, boom, boom, boom. We got a trout. Yes, we got a trout. I literally took. 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes of uh, casting a catch junior over this like broken bottom. It's like probably six foot. I was worried. I was worried, really. I mean, it's like 1230. I was worried that we weren't gonna catch a trout. But we caught one. I caught one. It's like 15 inches. But I don't care. Cause that's my slam. Now I can go have fun and go try to catch more redfish. That might have some snug in there. And I'm looking at one of the spots I caught some fish earlier, so I'm gonna go over there after I let this trout go. I'll make a couple more casts, and uh, yeah, we got our slam. Let's go. Grass on it too. Wires are stuck on my net. Yes. Yes, we needed that so badly, dude. Yes. The snook are stupid here. Bait swims by them. Wah -bah. That's two for two on sight casting snook. That one's probably 24 inches, 25 inches. That's what I was looking for. Yes! Up on the catch junior now. snook this time it's the whole reason why i switched over to the dang catch junior try to keep this bait up in the water column and we hook a redfish instead Damn, son. they were way up in that school mall i saw some snook in there earlier i'm gonna try and do this carefully but I think he wanted that catch junior. <laughs> Way down there, dude. Wow. Hopefully I can get this out fairly easily. It doesn't look terrible. Yeah, it's just on the roof of his mouth. So I'm just gonna grab him with the bow grip and unhook him. And get a quick pick, get a quick look at him. This is one treble hook on the roof of his mouth here. All those trebles and it's just that tip one there we go catch junior removed another beautiful redfish Mwah. love it dude this is awesome oh wow let's go this is a lot of fun um, got another one Got another one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let me tell you what. Look at that. Big old red. Let's go. Woo. I didn't videotape this one because I was standing up and he hit it. On the fall, hit right as it hit the bottom. Boom. 27. Another beautiful fish. Boy, we can get a 27 inch snook or something along the lines of that. 
but they are chewing up the minnows today. Let's go, baby. Well, I'm way home from the uh, weigh-in. I'm going over the sky right now, and it's like very slow, very slow traffic. So let's just do a little tournament recap real quick. Uh, stopped at the gas station, got myself some boiled peanuts and this new Rockstar Punched Pineapple Aguas Fresca. Hopefully I said that right, but it's really freaking good. Hopefully I can find the strawberry one. There's a strawberry one too. So hopefully I can find it. They only have the pineapple, so we're gonna go with that. Anyways, back to how today went. Start of the morning off slow. Uh, I got a 20 inch redfish within the first 20 minutes or so of the trip. Uh, like I said in the video uh, before this, I was late by 30 or so minutes. I uh, should have got there at like 6.15, 6.20 when the sun was coming up. I timed it wrong. But uh, either way, it was a great day out in the water. Caught a lot of fish. It took uh, it took some time, it took some uh, figuring out because I've only fished this spot twice. This, today, this was the second time I fished this spot. Last time I fished it, it was November. It was cold, windy, low, super low tide. And uh, this time it was high tide, it's May. Um, it's like 90 degrees and uh, the fishing was completely different. We kept, we're coming off a full moon last night and uh, we had a good incoming tide till about 10.50 in the morning. So that tide, that water came up really quickly. Uh, I didn't think it would, but I mean, it rushed in. I could literally see it coming in. And uh, about 12 o'clock is when it started. You started noticing it was uh, going back out. So um, starting the morning off, catching that 20 inch redfish, moving on to about, uh, say, I don't know, I think the, the next upgrade was like at 9.30ish was when I caught a redfish that was 22 inches. Let me tell you what, I caught a million 22 inch redfish at first. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, is this all I'm gonna catch is 22 inch redfish? Can I not upgrade? And every time I caught a 22 inch redfish, I could see, like, you can kind of tell like, okay, that's definitely the same size or smaller redfish. And uh, every time I was hooking one, as I'm bringing that fish in, there was fish falling in. It was nicer fish that just weren't eating my plastic. The little ones were, but the big ones weren't. Finally, I found a spot that had some bigger fish and I missed one off this like post thing like three times. Like I get that bite, you set the hook and you feel it. You're like, oh, that's the one. And it popped off three times. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Is he not eating it all the way? What's happening? Finally, right as I turned the video on, I made a cast and I hooked it. I finally caught that one. I was 28. And I was like, cool, you know, you got a 28 incher. You know, I don't have a trout yet. And I got like a small 13 inch snook or whatever, 19 inch snook, 13 inch snook. Moved on, caught a nice little 19 inch snook. Nothing crazy, but it's an upgrade. You know, it's six inches. You know, it adds up when you put all those together for the end of the year. So uh, I was like, okay, so hopefully I can get another snook. So I kept moving around, finding schools and mullet, fi uh, fishing them with the minnows. Uh, I didn't really throw topwater a whole lot. Like the topwater bite just wasn't there. Um, the, the morning just started really weird. Like it was nice and calm out. And, you know, it was just, I'm so used to it being rough and windy. Uh, it was just kind of weird going out there and it being calm out. And for some reason, the topwater bite just wasn't happening. So. The minnows pretty much got everything done today. Uh, I started off just kind of throwing it in the schools of mullet and just reeling it straight, just not even twitching it most of the time. And that's when I kind of figured out where those fish were. I find the school of mullet, throw in there, reel it straight, boom, get a fish, anchor up with a power pole and just fish that area. And uh, as the morning went on, I started really figuring it out and it was just ridiculous. Like there were so many redfish. I probably could have stayed there all day and just caught redfish until my arms were hurt. I caught probably 20 fish uh, in like a you know, three or four hour period. And uh, it was just a ton of fun. It was just one after another, you know, and it didn't matter kind of what I threw because I was catching them on the minnows. Then I put on a trout trick on the other rod to try and catch some trout, catch my fish on that, threw the catch junior, caught them on that. I was like, dude, it's like I'm trying to change baits up just so I'm not catching my fish. Like I got to the point where I was taking, um, and not even putting pro cure on my minnows anymore. I was like, okay, I think they're just smelling it and they're eating it. But then I started noticing, like, when I make a cast, the water was so clear, I was bringing that bait close to me. Those fish were falling it no matter what. It didn't matter if I had set on it or not. They were coming up and they were eating it. I was watching three and four redfish fight over it. So, caught plenty of redfish, 26, 27, 28, 
Uh, I got a 29. I was goofing off with that. I didn't, I didn't even know it was bigger than my 28. I was goofing off with the, my phone, taking videos and stuff. And I get that fish and put them on the board. I'm like, oh, that's uh, like a little bit over 29 inches. It's like an inch and a quarter bigger than my last fish. So I was like, okay. So <laughs> I was pretty stoked about getting that guy. And then um, moved out after that fish try and catch a trout <clears throat> and uh about 10 or 15 minutes caught a trout it was one like 16.6 or something 16.8 something like that <clears throat> but i caught my trout so after i caught that trout i was like you know what done deal i got my slam let's go in and see if we can't catch a better snook uh the water was going out a little bit shallower um i was right on this sandbar thing i saw a snook cruising these snook are just like they must be coming right out of the creeks or something down here in sarasota but he's coming out and it was a bigger fish than what I had prior, so I flipped my minnows to him and caught him. It was 23 inches. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, you see him, and usually up here in Pinellas, you cast at something sight fishing, and most of the time on the flats, they spook, especially a snook. And uh, I was right on top of this fish. Like, I, he was just swimming right by me. I pitched right to him. I had grass on the minnows again. I had like this snot stuff, and uh, he crushed it. So I was pretty stoked. Got that fish in, 23 inches, and then I kept fishing where I was catching this redfish, and I hooked a nice snug. It's probably a 30 incher, and he popped off. I saw him come up, he shook his head. I saw him, he frayed me up a little bit, and my minnows went flying. I was like, ah. And I was like, damn it. And then, of course, I proceeded to catch like six more redfish right there. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. You know, I got a couple small ones. I got another like 26, 27 incher. It was just stupid. And that was like around 130 ish and then i headed back in and called it a day and uh we finished fourth place i finished fourth place. i don't know why i keep saying we i finished fourth place today which isn't terrible i was actually trying to just get points for that championship i, I i'm more focused on winning that championship again yeah, that's what i really want to do i want to win it back to back um, it's cool winning the individual tournaments but my focus is on getting that championship again and i'm hoping because i'm pretty sure the two guys that were ahead of me I did better than them today. I'm just saying, I did better. So I don't know how much better, but I think, fingers crossed. I mean, I got, I think I put 69 on the board today. So hopefully that puts me back up in first place heading into fall for event four, five, and six. So we're done until October. Let's have some fun during the summer. Um, it's gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna do the kayak thing still. We're gonna be doing the flare hawks, the maximums. We're gonna, do what we always do during the summer and uh, have a lot of fun and then uh, we'll be back to doing tournament videos in October. So I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, I'm going to go over my gear real quick. All my rods today were world class Fenwicks. All my reels besides one were the Clash 2's 2500's. I got a Fathom 200 LPLH on one. Caught all my fish today on the minnows and the right stuff color 316th ounce. All my braid is spider wire or Berkeley X9, 10 pound test. And uh, I did catch a couple of fish on the Catch Junior from Mirror and the Z Man Trout Trick and Crayoli Croaker on that same jig that I was still on the right stuff minnows on that Swim Bay I 316 So, If you guys have any questions regarding any of the tackle that I was using or just want to know more about fishing, just let me know. You can message me on Instagram, Facebook, or directly in the comments below. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in October for more tournament videos. Let's go.